Hello guys. Today we are going to study uh, bubble integral in polar coordinates. Before I'm studying explaining how to do this one, I have to remind you what is the polar coordinates. As you know, the polar coordinates having polar axis similar to the x axis and you have a pole O. This is a pole. Okay? This is a pole. And this is the polar axis. How you draw in the polar coordinate? In the polar coordinate, you have to, each point having R and theta. If you have this such point. How to sketch this one? You have to go for the distance R. Okay, so this is R. And then you're moving by this R into theta. So this is the point R and theta. This is the polar coordinate. Okay. And we know before the Cartesian coordinates. And we know we have two axes. The horizontal one is x, the vertical is y. And each point here is x coordinate and y coordinate. How to find x? You just go horizontally and have this is the x. How to get y? You just get vertically okay so you, this is y right so this is also will be x because this is exactly this i know how to change from cartesian to polar as i said this x point x and y will be here and, and theta Okay, so if I have x, y, how I can change into r and theta? r r is equal to what? The root square of x squared plus y squared. This is the r. What about theta? Theta is tan inverse y over x. Okay. Okay. If I have the opposite side, <clears throat> if I'm moving here <clears throat> from r and theta, and I would like to have it x and y. So x equal to r cosine theta and y equal to r sine theta. This is a relation between uh, the polar coordinates and the Cartesian coordinates. So I can move from this one, the Cartesian to polar, and I can move from the polar to the Cartesian. That's fine. Next, in the Cartesian, I used to have rectangular area and non-rectangular area, if you remember. The rectangular area, it means you have a rectangle like this, okay? So yes, so X will move from A to B, and Y will, will move from C to D, right? So this is a rectangular area, rectangular. Also, you have non-rectangular area. For example, if you have quarter of a circle, okay, 
This is non-rectangular area. Non-rectangular. That's fine. And I know the area elements in the Cartesian coordinate dA, this is the area element. Maybe dx, dy, or dy, dx. This is the area element. So I have to know, yes, I am going to integrate with respect to x and y or from y to x, okay? So I have a double integral over a region R for a function of two variables, x and y, and dA. dA could be dx dy or dy by dx. If I have to reverse the order, that's fine. If not, I can integrate straightforward over rectangular area or non-rectangular area, okay? What about if we go for the polar coordinate? This was in the Cartesian coordinate. This is Cartesian. Let's go for the polar coordinate. In the polar coordinate, as we said, we have the pole O and the polar axis, okay? And all the time, we measuring R, and then we move by R up to what? Up to theta. So, before we have dx dy, a piece, very small piece of x, or slicing x into small pieces and slices y into small pieces, and each small piece is dx dy, and then the integration is the sum. So this is the point of having uh, the volume or the area using the double integral. Now also, I have to move from R to a little bit the dr. So I go for R plus dr. I prefer to write it delta R. I don't like dr because delta. Also, I'm going to move by this one here. Okay. That's fine. And okay, this arc is what? This space, if you would like to have the, this area, right? So yes, you change from here to here, right? So the area element the area element is R dr D theta. So you take a small theta, which is delta theta, okay? If you would like to explain it more. This is, you take a small angle, so you move a little bit and you move from R also. This is the area element, this is the DA. DA. Can I use that change from the Cartesian into polar to do this one? Let's try. I have dA equal to, in the Cartesian, dx dy. Okay. And I know x equal to what? R cosine theta and y equal to R sine theta, right? So what is dx? Is minus R sine theta d theta. What is dy? Is r cosine theta d theta, right? 
Is it okay? Is it right? Yes. Let's substitute here. So you have what? Minus R sine theta Okay, so dx, sorry, I may get a mistake. I would like to have dr d theta. So dx is r sine theta, d theta, if we have d theta only. But I would like to have also dr, right? So dx dy can be changed into r sine theta. And here minus r because here i'm just changing up to theta but i would like to have also dr right so this is the area element this one that this is r d theta right okay and this is this part is dr right so this area element is exactly this is r dr d theta r dr d theta this is r dr d theta this is how to find the area element in the polar coordinate but you can get this one from dx dy. Yes, dx, how, how you are going to in differentiate? You differentiate with respect to r or to theta, okay? So the main point is just having this d a or the area element from the definition of the area. The arc length, we know all of us, is the uh, diameter multiplied by the angle. So it is R d theta. So the area of this one is R d theta, this arc, multiplied by this space dr. So this is how to find the area element in the polar coordinate. So how you will have your integration? Yes, you will have over a region. And you have a function of r and theta. And you have area element, which is fixed this time, r, dr, d theta. Can it swap? Yes, you can swap, no problem, right? But depends on what? Depends on the origin you will have. Okay? So this is how, it, how the double integral over the polar coordinate. Okay, so this is a polar coordinate. Okay, this is a polar coordinates. And this is how it looks like the integration of polar coordinate. Okay, so you have to remember, you don't have dx dr d theta like uh, in the Cartesian, but you have r dr d theta. This is the area element. And your function will be a function of r and theta, okay? And the region, yes, any region can be uh, explained in the Cartesian or something. Sometimes if it is a circle or a ellipse or something like this or cardoid or something, you can explain it by the Cartesian, uh, by the polar coordinates. Before I start giving you the integration, I would like you to know how to write some region in the polar coordinates okay let's have this circle half circle right say from 2 to minus 2 so so this is a half circle what is a circle equation in the Cartesian coordinate, it is, as I know, it is x 
square plus y square equal to what? The radius square, right? This is the equation of the uh, circle. But I don't have a uh, circle here, right? I have half circle. So how you can write the half circle? This is for a circle. Okay, for a circle. This circle has origin as center. What is the center of this one? Zero and zero. And it has re and radius r equal to two, right? So how to explain this half? As I can get y or x, I can get y equal to the root plus or minus, okay? This one square, which is equal to four. So it is four minus x squared. As far as I know, I can get y squared equal to four minus x squared. So when I have y, I have two values of one, plus or minus to the root square of four minus x squared. So do I have to take the plus half or the negative one? The plus one explain the half circle above the x-axis. The negative one explain the half circle down x-axis, okay? So this is a plus one. If I go for the lower half of a circle, this is two, this is minus two. Sorry about this one, it's slightly not good. So this is a half sec. If you would like to type this one, the equation of this one, so the equation will be what? Y equal to minus root square of four minus X squared. This is in the Cartesian. What about in the polar? Yes, I know the polar R and theta, right? So how I can explain this one? So I can know r equal to what? What is the radius? Two, right? What is the theta? Theta between what? Between zero, uh, sorry, between zero, this is you measuring theta starting from here. Anticlockwise, positive, from zero to y, right? So theta will be, zero and y, right? This is in the polar. What about the lower half of the circle? R still fix. The radius is two, okay? And theta, theta between Minus pi, zero to minus pi, right? Because you are anti-clockwise. Or you can say from pi to two pi. It's up to you. Okay? But in the polar coordinates, we learn we have positive zero to pi in the upper half, and we have zero to minus pi to the lower half. So theta greater than minus pi and less than zero right because i have to write the smaller one first and then the bigger one to the right okay so this is how to explain uh, the lower half of the circle with the radius two and this is how to explain the upper half of the polar coordinate in the polar coordinate let's go for another one This time, you are going to have only quarter of the circle. Let's have this one. So you have one minus two. How to explain this one in the polar coordinate? You can say R stel two sphinx. 
theta. Theta starts from here. What is theta here? You measure in theta from uh, the horizontal value on the positive side, and you start counting from here. Up to here, you have pi over 2. And here, you have pi. So theta bigger than pi over 2 until. Okay, one more. This is one, this is one, okay. What about this one in the polar uh, coordinate? How you can write it down? Okay. R equal to what? The radius is one. What about theta? Theta start from here, so it is zero, start from zero, right? So, theta start from zero until pi over two, right? Okay. Clear? So you have to know this in the, how to explain the area in the polar coordinate. Unless you are given the polar uh, formula for your curve. Now we will come to the big question. Why do we study the double integral in Polar coordinates. This is the main question. If it is useless, so what's the point of studying this one? We are not some wasting our time, right? Yes, I will let you know now. Can you? Fine. This double integral of E, you will be happy because you have it before and you reverse the order. But this time, sorry to say, you don't have x square only, you have x square and y square. Over A. What's A? A, I can. Give it you as say I will take. Okay, this is minus two plus two. Minus two. Fine. Okay. Or I can say A is the half circle of this one. Or I can explain A as y equal to the root square of 2, sorry, 4 minus x square. Why about the positive? Because I know this is the upper half. And you have to mention x and x between minus 2 to positive 2. Okay? Yes, sometimes I will give you the area as a graph, and sometimes I give you the area as equation, right? Can you integrate this one? Of course not. Even if you reverse that. Sorry. Yes. Even. In Cartesian, we cannot do it. So the, 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 the solution of this one in the Cartesian cannot be done. So we cannot. Sorry. I cannot do it in the Cartesian. Even
even if I reverse the order, even if. even by reverse the order. Okay? This is the answer of this question. I have some integration. I cannot do it in the Cartesian, so I have to change it into polar. Let's go and solve it. I just remind you why the, are your, our example. Find the double integral over A or over the region. You can you to type it A or R, it doesn't matter. Okay. For E is an X square plus Y square DX DY and R is Y equal to root square of 4 make it 1 this time 1 minus x squared okay and x between I just remember I take it 2 yes so I'll make it for this one minus x squared and x between minus 2 and 2. So I have to sketch the graph. All the time I'm telling you, you have to know how to sketch the graph of your region. As far as I know, y equal to root square 4 minus x squared is a half circle. Half circle. It is exactly the upper half. Okay. Upper half of the circle. What is a circle? Y square and X square plus equal to four. Right? I know. This is with the center, this is with center 0 and 0, and radius are equal to 2. So now I can graph it, okay? I know this is x. This is y. This is the origin, 0 and 0. I'll take the upper half. So, sorry. Okay, that's roughly. This is minus 2. This is positive 2. Okay. Now, I'm not asking for x now. I have to change it into the polar curve. So, change into polar coordinate. So, I know what's x squared plus y squared. I know r equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay? And I know dx dy equal to r dr d theta. So the double integral will be changed from e to the x squared plus y squared dx dy into what? Into e. What's x squared plus y squared? It is r. What is dx dy? It is. So it is r dr d theta. Now, how to find the lower bound and upper bound for you? 
you have no problem because you're fixing r from the earth pool this is a pool into this one so this is your r right so r start from 0 to 2 so i have no problem with this one r from 0 to 2 okay what about theta theta start from here 0 and go up until to pi here so from 0 to pi yes this is exactly like the rectangular area double integral over rectangular area. very similar to this one but it is not rectangular area i'm saying rectangular area because i have fixed value here right okay so i change from the cartesian because i couldn't integrate with respect to x even if i reverse i couldn't integrate with respect to y this is why i have to go for the polar coordinates i know the relation between the polar and the cartesian but i have to know the region my region first this is uh, the upper half of the circle x square plus y square equal to four which has a center zero and zero because this is exactly x minus zero square plus y minus zero square equal to four and with radius equal to two i know r equal to x square plus y square and the area element dx dy or dy by dx will equal to r dr dt so my function will be e to the r because r is x square plus y square and dx dy will be r dr dt now i have no problem because i have 0 to 2 0 to pi i just want you to know what is the shape of this integration in the Cartesian, okay? Just to let you know how difficult it is, right? I have double integral of e to the x square plus y square dx dy. How I can get the lower bound of x? x start from one, from here to here, right? Okay? So what's x in this one? And what is x over any one of this one? I know x could be from minus root square of x square plus, sorry, 4 minus y square, 4 minus y square to positive or minus y square okay okay and as i said again y now you can explain why here y is from zero to two right so you have such uh, root square which is Make so difficult for you to integrate, right? Okay. This is a point. I cannot do this one in the Cartesian coordinates. But I got very easy integration like this one. Now, let's go for this integration. Remember this one, e to the r, r dr d theta, r from 0 to 2, and y from 0 to 1. So I have this integration sorry e to the r r dr d theta r from 0 to 2 and by from 0 to 1 look at this one i'm lucky because there is no connection between r and theta they are explicit function so i can take uh this one 0 to 2 for e to the r r dr separate and can multiply by the integration from 0 to pi for d theta. In general, you cannot distribute the integration. But because I have uh, the lower bound and upper bound is exactly like the uh, rectangular area, so I can split this one into two uh, integration multiplied together, right? But in general, you cannot distribute the integration over the multiplication. 
now yes this time you are lucky because you can use your calculator in both integration okay. it is clear even without the without a calculator you're integrating d theta it which is theta from zero to two pi and you're integrating this one this is integration by parts right so if you take this one as dv and you take this one as u so i know it is u i just remind you by the integration by parts the integration of u dv is u v minus v du this is the integration by part right integration by parts which you can do it by the table as well now how you can do it this is u r dv what is the integration of dv it is v the integration of e to the r it is e to the r don't mess the lower bound and the upper bound okay minus the integration of v which is e to the r du u is r so du is dr right from zero to two now i know this is what when i substitute by two i have two e to the two minus when i substitute by zero i have zero minus what is the integration of e to the r the integration of e to the r is e to the, e to the r and don't mess this one from zero to two And now this is equal to what? This is equal to two by. Okay, and all of this one multiply by the two by. Okay. Okay. And this is what? This is 2 pi. Okay. Now, this one equal to what? 2 e squared minus, when you substitute by, by 2, you have e to the 2 minus, substituting by the lower bound, e to the 0. All of this one multiplied by 2 by. So you have 2 e squared minus e squared okay. and e to the 0 is 1. Okay. All of this one multiplied by 2 by. Remember you have e to the square bit negative and you have two of them. So you end up with one only e to the square minus minus this minus minus will be plus one. All of this one multiply by what? Multiply by two by. Catch the point? Yes. It's very easy integration when I change from the Cartesian into Euler. Right. I will stop and ask you to do this one. Fine. The double integral over the region R for e to the sorry len x square plus y square dx dy. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. What is R? R, same as the previous question. Okay. Sorry about this mistake. Okay. Now, this is R is uh, Y equal to four minus X squared and also X between minus two and positive two. Okay. Okay. Now I know this area before. So my solution, I know the area, so I, I save my time now. I know this is the upper half of a circle with center 0 and 0 and radius 2. So I know this one. Now, change into polar. Okay. When you change into polar, okay. When you change into polar, what you are going to do? You have this integral over r two ln x square plus y square dx dy. Okay, for me, I know x square plus y square equal to what equal to r okay so and instead of having len x square plus y square equal to r it is better to have i know if i got this two len x square plus y square i have this two up so i have len x square Okay, plus y squared to the power 2, right? So I can have this one as a ln r squared, which is will be the same, right? Now, can you do this one? Yes, I'll get this one equal to the double integral of 2 ln, ln what? Ln r. What is dx dy is r dr d theta. How you do this integration? You can do it by what is r? r from 0 to 2 and r theta from 0 to pi. Okay. So yes, I can split this one into two integration. I can take from 0 to pi for d theta, multiply by the integration from 0 to 2 for 2 len r multiply by r here okay yeah if you have your calculator you can do it if you don't you can do it by integration by parts okay can you do it by your calculator and give me the this i know from zero to y so i have pi right 
Okay. So it is by. What about this one? If you have your calculator, please do this one for me. I'll take this two outside. So forget about the two. Find using your calculator the integration of ln r times r dr from 0 to 2. And let me know, please. Yes, when you try to do this one, I have math error, right? So what you are going to use for this one? Go for the MATLAB, please. It is lin for how it comes. So one of you, I think, from Muhammad Ayman, give me lin sixteen minus two. So you add that two in your uh, in your integration, right? I'm saying when you integrate, you have this two inside the integration for Muhammad Ayman for sure. Yes, yes. Okay, that's correct. But if you didn't have this two, you will have the answer ln four minus one, right? Because you have two outside this integration, okay? Okay. So yes, by the MATLAB, it was ln four minus one, ln four minus one. Now, I'm asking you to start. Can you do the original one? Okay. I'll, I'll give you this one. This is for you. Fine. Please, please mute the sound, please. Yep, yeah, Habibi. Mute the sound. Okay, I'll give you a question before I leave. I finish my, my duty. Question. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. This question for you. Find the double integral over R for len one plus x square plus y square dx dy, where R equal
y equal to root square of one minus x square and x minus one. This is your question. Please try to do it, okay? And I give you 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to do this. You hear me? Yes, yes doctor. Okay. Yes, doctor. Please, you have 10 to 15 minutes to do MATLAB? This. No, no, no. MATLAB, how it comes with MATLAB? I'm saying using the poly. You cannot do it by the MATLAB still. If you would like, yes. you do it by the MATLAB from the best beginning. Okay, if you know. But at least do it by hand now. And I will, you will share your solution. I will let you share your solution. If you finish, scan it, put it in your desktop, or even by using your mobile, and you can share your screen. Okay? دكتور yes ال r كيف نكتبها في الماتلاب <laughs> this is my point this is you have to graph it and you know how to find the x and y you go from the left to the right horizontally you know the x and you go from down to up to have y so you have to know it yourself in matlab there is no r r is a region which is a lower bound of x and to the upper bound of x and the lower bound of y up to your region, right? They are tamed at the region that you are tamed at the Okay? Motor, motor. Motor, sorry, sorry. Okay, doctor. Let's have this solution and check it. Is it correct or not? Yes, this is half circle. How did you know this is half circle, right? Even if you know from zero, R from zero to one, and theta from zero to pi, okay? So here you have len one plus R. Why it is capital R? Why it is capital R? This is a small R. This is a big difference between this R, which is the region, and this R for the polar coordinate. Right? This is why I would like to see your answer, just to correct the mistakes, to avoid it in the exam, right? So now, again, yes, you can take the d theta from 0 to y, and you can take len 1 plus small r times r, dr. Yes, if you change all of them, no problem. But please, this is a big difference between the region and the radius r in the polar code. Okay? Yes, from 0 to y, you have y. I don't know why, why he got this one. I don't know. Why it is four point something times 0 0.25, okay? I'll stop this one, okay? And get the other solution for other students, right? Let's look at this solution, right? This is len one plus r. This is r the r the theta instead of dx dy. This is the area element in the polar coordinates, it's correct. r from zero to one. Uh, theta from 0 to pi, he got separate integration for theta and th separate integral for r because there is no overlap between them. Okay? So d theta from 0 to pi, what about this one? He claiming this is uh, 1 over 4, right? Is that correct one? Using the is it correct one over four? Yes, doctor, by MATLAB one over four. That's, that's so good. Okay, so this is the right answer, okay? Let's see another one. Let's check this one, right? Yes, each len one plus r because x squared plus y squared is r, and instead of area element dx dy, he has or she has r dr d theta. Yes, from zero to how it comes zero to y over two. This is half circle x from minus one to positive one, right? In positive one, 
theta is 0. In minus 1, theta is pi. So the mistake here was what? 0 to pi, not 0 to pi over 2. I don't know who's done this one. Let's see another one. Hello? Yes. Who this, who's done this one? This is theta from me. 0 to pi is pi. Okay? Yeah. This one, you can do it by your calculator. No need for the MATLAB, right? Uh, by the you'd, 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 sorry, by the need for MATLAB? I'm saying find the result of this one, right? Yes. What is the result of this one now? I don't know. Yes, you use the MATLAB, but what is the result of this one? Do you think the answer is by? Because you write equal here, okay? Uh, no, no, the by it's just for the first one. I see. What is this equal? Sorry, it's by mistake. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, yes, this is the right answer among the answers I got via the WhatsApp, right? Because you, you couldn't share your answer. Next time I will learn you, I will teach you how to share your answer. Do you have any question before, before we leave? Yes, doctor, uh, um, shall, we, shall we exercise about uh, the math lab? It will be multi-question multi, multi question or uh, multi-answers or... No, you, you have to write the answer yourself. Yeah, sometimes you, have, you, sometimes you have MCQ question, yes. But you have to calculate to choose the right one. And sometimes yes. you, have, you have to fill the space. To fill the space, you fill the space after you calculate right after you calculating how many times how many times i said please okay so i have to stop recording thank you